Every so often, uh, former half term Alaskan governor, Sarah Palin reemerges from wherever the hell it is that she hides out all the time. And she goes on Fox news and reminds us that politics was stupid even before Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert came along. So Palin goes on Fox news this week, talking about a story that's over a week old, you know, AOC being down in Florida and right wingers commenting on her boyfriend wearing sandals. And she mockingly came back at Republicans. AOC did and said, ah, you know, they always do this because they just want to date me. And she said that before. And you know what? It's kind of funny. And to be honest, I think it's kind of true. So Sarah Palin decides to talk about this story that again was well over a week old at this point and things got crazy. Here's what Sarah Palin said. And here her obsession, at least her suggestions of gender and sex, even I truly believe there are enough Americans who get it and understand what her tactic is. And that is to deflect from what the real issues are. But take this issue though, with her suggestion of dating and, you know, attraction to someone and blaming her failures on that, that obsession with sex. Look how the liberals, Rachel, want to pound that into the public's head. All the things that have to do with privacy and sex, the liberals, not the conservatives are the ones who pound, pound, pound. You know, as somebody who loves a good double entendre every now and then, I got to tell you, Palin, you really nailed it on that one. Oh yeah. When it comes to sex, the liberals are just pounding and pounding and pounding away, right? Um, let's get a couple things straight here though. Uh, AOC, as we all know, was dining outdoors in Florida, not wearing a mask, but the focus became on her boyfriend's feet because he was wearing sandals. That's what people started talking about. So Palin, I don't know what you're trying to address. Like, oh, her failure, her failure of what to put proper shoes on her boyfriend in Florida. Sandals are very common here. I don't, I don't know if you realize that. I know you're from Alaska. Y'all probably don't have a lot of flip-flop weather, but down here in Florida, especially South Florida, even this time of year, super common. So I'm not sure what, what failure it is you're talking about there, but, uh, that's a little weird. But when you want to talk about gender and, and sex and how it's the liberals pounding that into our heads, really, which party right now is trying to legislate genders? Which party is regulating reproductive organs of women? Because you know damn well, Sarah, that that is not in fact the Democrats. That's the Republicans. Y'all are the ones out there passing these transgender athlete bans because you want to regulate the genders. Your party's been pushing the bathroom bans for years now because you want to regulate genders because that's all you can think about. Hell, there's still red states down here in the South where sodomy is illegal. Those are Republican controlled states that still want to regulate what happens between consenting adults. So don't tell me, Sarah, that liberals are the ones obsessed with sex. Sounds like Republicans, possibly even you based on your double entendre there have, have some repressed feelings that y'all need to work out a little bit because there is a party in this country that wants to regulate what you can do in the bedroom, what you can do with your anatomy, what you can do with your reproductive organs. But it damn sure isn't the democratic party that wants to regulate any of that.